First shot, chapter 3, verse 4. Listen up, what's your name, brother? Anthony. You said it. You're right. That's what we didn't want him. See, very good point, Reed. Whosoever committed sin. Whosoever committed sin, Reed. Transgressive also the law. They breaking God's law. The word transgressive means to break, Reed. For sin is the transgression of the law. So when our people sin, they're breaking God's law. But you, you made a good statement. You said, how can they know if they, they don't know what they're sinning, right? So that's what we hear to tell them what they're sinning. Let me give an answer to how they cure. Did you know three? Just by looking at you, bro. I'm not trying to condemn you, but you're in the two fold now with no You might not even know. So we're going to show you a law. Mercy. And you're trying to rush it. A law that you have to not keep. Listen to this, bro. Pay attention. Because our men have must put on the armor of God. They must learn the laws of God. Our community needs the laws of God to change. That's the only way we're going to change. Great. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. Now you might have not known about this. You might have, none of you might have not known about this. But God, we're here to reveal to you today that you're in the midst of sin. And you must repent. Great. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. It's a commandment of God that you are not to shave off your head. Round the corners yourself. We don't get Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. So it is a commandment of God that we do not shave or destroy our beard. That's what we've learned. That's what we've learned to what? So who is the son of God? Okay. I'm going to let somebody do it. What's the question? Who is the son of God? Jesus the Christ, the Savior of Israel. Let me ask a question. What's your nationality? What have you been taught? Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. I'm asking you a question. What is your nationality? I'm me. I'm not is no that, nationality. That, that, I'm not a Christian. I want you to see what I'm asking you. I'm not a Do you know your nationality? I'm a boy. Yes or no? I'm a boy. You're not a boy. Can you prove that in the Bible? Do you believe in God's word? Do you believe in God's word? Give me Proverbs 14. Proverbs 14. I don't give me uh, Psalms 14. One second, but you stand for Psalms. I ain't going nowhere. Psalms 14. 14 and 1. What we are here to do is to teach you so-called black men that this book you're looking at here, King James was not a white man. He was a black man. You have been lied to. You are the Israelites. You're not African. You're not Muslim. You're not, uh, you're not uh, West Indian. You're not Haitians. Those were labels given to you. So we're going to be some real quick. 14 1. Psalms chapter 14, verse 1. Read up. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Now a fool would say in his heart, there is no God. He believes that he's God. He, he controls everything. The black men, we are in captivity to this day. That's Why? right. Because we broke God's commandments. Now, one man? second. I'm asking you a question now. Any one of you here, who here loves God? No people afraid to say they love God? Do you, you know love, we love God? God? Okay, then we got to find out what does God require of us. Give me two rounds. Deuteronomy 12, we're going to find out this is what happened in church. Church for a long time has been singing and dancing to you, but have not edified you in God's word. So brother, Jesus one second. One right. second, brother. Pace yourself. You know, this is the problem right? with our people. We don't know how to do things in decency and order. Be respectful. No. You got brother. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord God thy God require of thee? You know what, the, what it said? What? What do the Jesus Lord thy God require of thee? What movie. does God require of you? I'm asking you a question, brother. From what you've been taught, what does God require of you? Do you have an idea? Well, we're going to worship. To worship him, what do you do? What does God require of you? To praise worship him. Let's see, read on. But to fear the Lord thy God. This is what God wants to do is to fear him. Old people out here don't fear God right now. They're walking out here drunk in the street, women dressed out of order. Old people are out of course with God. And the churches have failed old people. That's what right. so called black men, you are the low state and you are the greatest thing God ever created. That's right. It's right. time for you men to come back in your place, rule this earth like God made it forth for you to do. That's but first right. you gotta do what? Find out what God requires of you. Is to fear him. What does it mean to fear him? To fear his judgments. That's what God would do. Fear his judgments. All people don't fear today. 
But we the Israelites are sent to put that back in your mind, make you know who you are and how to get right with God. Or would you prefer us to sing and dance for you and give you church? Read. To walk in all his ways. And to walk in all his ways. That means all his commandments. You can't pick and choose which one you want to keep and don't keep. Like I give you an example, brother. Real quick, you brother with the yellow on right there. With the yellow. With the yellow. Brother, with you with the yellow. Brother with the yellow, I'm talking to you with the yellow. I want you to ask one more time, read the last part. To walk in all his ways. The Lord wants us to walk in all his ways. So if we find a commandment that we don't keep, like example, if we don't, I don't got no problem with murdering and stealing. But if I got a problem with adultery, I gotta fix that. Some people find their love, their lust, and continue doing it. So we have people out here today, what? On drugs, alcoholism, broken families. Why? They don't fear God, and they don't know what God requires of them. Why is that? Give me Hosea 4 6. What you hold? Hosea 4 6. Watch this. You so called black men, it's high time you wake out of seat. I want you to stop and just look around you. Look at the street. Is this what God set forth for his people? Is this what you think it is? Where's Crepto Dollar at? Where's the big sack? Oh, they are here to wake up God's children? They're a damn lie. This is why you like that. Hosea 4 and 6. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You hear what God said? He said his people, which are you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, are destroyed because you lack knowledge. What knowledge do you lack? Basketball? No, you know how to play basketball. PlayStation, you know that. The knowledge you lack is God's laws. We don't know that today a black man, we're not supposed to shave off our beard, bald our hair, wear that crucifix. We don't know that. We don't know that we can't eat pork because lying past the tell you it's all right. Also don't know it's wrong to be dressed like that. What has happened to us? We are a degenerate nation of people, but we are here, the prophets of God, to set you back in order. Either you here or you forbear. Hold that. Read. Malachi chapter 2. Verse 7. Read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest's lips are supposed to keep knowledge. Let's see what God said knowledge is. Read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law. Seek the what? The law. Seek the what? The law. Seek the what? The law and its mouth. So guess what? When you go to church, you're supposed to be seeking the laws of God at the priest's mouth. What does the pastor give you? He gives you a sermon. Well, I'm going to tell you about my life back in Alabama. Ha! And that's what our people get caught up in. They don't want to seek the Lord God's mouth. We are the prophets and we're going to tell you God's laws, what you're doing wrong, and that's love. That's the love of God. St. John, I mean 1 John 5. We're going to say what love is. Brother, if I love you, you my brother. If I see dangers around the corner for you, am I going to warn you? That's all the job to do is warn you. So we're going to show you, according to God's word, how does he define love? Verse John chapter 5, verse 3. This is the love of God. God is going to define love. Read. That we keep his commandments. That we what? That we keep his commandments. No, we live in grace because grace is the way. No longer we can keep the law. We are the grace of Jesus. Read. And his commandments are not grieving. And his commandments are not grieving. I'm not grieved when I eat and pork. I'm not grieved when I commit adultery. I'm not grieved when I be out here drunk. Go up on alcohol and marijuana. I'm not grieving those things. So all people, what they want to do when they hear that, they said, well, I'm under the grace of Jesus. That's what you heard before, right? We're under grace. We don't have to keep the laws. You go to church, you heard that already. So what is grace? Give me the definition of grace. You hold that. You give me Romans. You give me Titus 2. Romans 3. I'm Romans 6. We're going to explain to you grace. And then after that, I'm going to ask you one more question about who you are. Read Romans, uh, Romans 6. Romans chapter 6 verse 1 Read. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? Shall we continue breaking God's commandment? Is that what God gave us to do? To say it's order to keep on sinning? That grace may abound That we might live off the grace of Christ Because Christ came to die for his right sins But that doesn't mean he gave you a license to keep on sinning Read on God forbid God forbid But lying Christianity has taught you that Lying Christianity has separated Christ from the commandments it's one and the same. He is the word made flesh. So when you say you believe in Jesus, what you're saying, you keep the commandments. But watch this. What is grace? Read. Titus 2 and 11. Titus chapter 2, 
verse 11. Listen up. For the grace of God. For the grace of what? For the grace of God Read on. that bringeth salvation. That what? That bringeth salvation Read. have appeared to all men. Read. Have appeared to all men. Teaching us. What is grace doing? Teaching us that denying ungodliness. So that's what grace is supposed to do. To teach you to deny ungodliness. Not to give you a license to sin. That's not what grace is for. It's to teach you to deny ungodliness. Out of here is evil. This is evil. This is not what God said for you, young men. Read on. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust. This is worldly lust. These women out here dressed half naked. That's worldly lust. That's what grace is supposed to teach you. Read on. We should live soberly. We're supposed to live sober. All people sober out here right now? No, look at them. Look at the young men. Sodish minds, dumb minds. Minds that can't think. That's why the other nation don't respect us. That's why. Because look how we carry ourselves. You black men are the greatest thing God created. But it's time you merge God's commandments in your life. And no longer would you be a drug addict. No longer you'll be a gangbanger. No longer you'll be a homosexual. No longer would you be an idolater. No longer would you walk these streets drunk. Who? Where's the black man at? That's looking for salvation. That's where that's the strong right. black man at? That's gonna rule his household. Where you at? We're looking for you. Where you at? All you know is video games and basketball and drugs. But when you hear the word of God, you scoff because you hate God. God, give me the first Thessalonians 4. First Thessalonians 4 and 8. That's the man of our people. Side of mind, simple as mine. How long you love simplicity? Proud as one. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 8. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man. All oh, people they despise, but you don't despise man. You don't really despise us. Who do you despise? But God. You despise God because you hate to hear these words. That's why our young men today, they don't understand how they behave. That God has not set that forth for them. They are here drunk. Proverbs 1, chapter 22. How long? Be simple. I want to show you something. This is the minds of our people out here right now. We got the other nation lifting. The old people refuse to listen to God's word. Read that now. How long, ye simple ones? What did God say? How long, ye simple ones? God said, How long, you simple ones? How long you want to be dumb? That's what God is saying. That's right. Will ye love simplicity? How long would you love simplicity? How long you want to be in the state? You so called black man, you supposed to be ruling the circle. And you worrying about gang banging and holding out a corner. This world belongs to you. That's right. You're the princess of God. And you worrying about a damn corner. We don't. We don't. How long? You simple ones. Do you love simplicity? The Bible said, How long you simple ones love simplicity? We don't. And the scorners delight. And that's how people, they love to score against God's word. They don't want to hear what the Bible got to say. Read on. And fools hate knowledge. And what? And fools hate knowledge. And what? And fools hate knowledge. The Bible said fools hate knowledge. The knowledge of what? God's word. They hate that. They despise God's word. That's the reason why you gang bang. That's the reason why you clown in the street. That's right. That's the reason why. Read on. Turn you at my reproof. God said, this is God's reproof. Repent, turn that as reproof. Read on. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. He said, that's the only way you'll get God's spirit, but you got to repent. So if you're in church, God's spirit is not on you. If you don't recognize that you're the Israelites, God's spirit is not on you. If you're in a gang, God's spirit is not on you. Read on. I will make known my words unto you. Read on. Because I have called. And he refused. All people right now, they refuse God's word. Why haven't they stopped to listen? Why are they trying to mock God right now? Because you ain't mocking us. Why they don't want to hear it? We try to show you who you are, how great you are. And you worry about power. That's what you're talking about. You are the Israelites. That's right. right. God's chosen children. And it's high time. Give me that again in Romans. Romans 13. That's it. 12. It's high time that you wake up out of sleep. Yes, you got a question? Excuse me, you got a question, sir? Did you have a question? Did you have a question? Oh, yes. They got a question? No, no, it's all right. You can't talk. What's your question? Let's go ahead. What's your question? Oh, Dad. You look too good. Yes. I didn't see it. What is love? What do you, how do you, how does God describe love? Because you say love. Is love, what, what? 
So how do you define him? How does God define the word love? Unselfish, undemanding, it's one direction. It's pressing forward. It's not like I love you. All those words you use were adjectives that you made. I'm asking, can you go to God's word in the Bible and use the word that you use to define love? Because love can be like what you said, undefined, this, that, whatever you want to make. The question is, I'm asking, can you use the Bible? Yeah. What, 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 what scripture would I go to? That love is what? Undemanded. Jay got a question right here. Yeah. In the white, he got a question. Well, 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 hold on, first, let me read the Bible. Why does everybody have a beard? It doesn't mean they're trapped. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be ready. In God's word. You got a word question. You got to ask you a question. Why do you? I don't know that all y'all are going to be happy about having a beard. Let's read it. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. Ye <laughs> shall not round the corners of your of your heads. So God said that we were not to round off our heads, bald our heads. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. Neither can we shave off our beard. Water causes me to destroy our beard, our natural line. So what we can do, we can groom ourselves, but we can't go like my line and shave it down like many old people do today. Why do our people do that? You know why they do that? Because they learned that they learned that from the Greeks, the Egyptians. We envied all. Give me that Proverbs three thirty one. We envied all oppressors. The Egyptians used to shave off all their face and walk on smooth face, and we want to be like them. The Greeks did that, and we want to follow them. When we came to America, we were taught that. Read this real quick. Proverbs chapter three, verse thirty one. Envy thou not the oppressor. You know how we envy oppressor? You sisters out here with blonde hair and straight hair, they envy them. The reason we serve up here, we envy them. Why do we celebrate 4th of July? Because we envy what they do. You are different from everybody else on this earth. That's right, that's right. You that's are right. God's children. You are the Israelite, and that's what we teach you. Read on. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. And choose none of his ways. You want to know one way that we're choosing his ways today, right now? You know what you, and you may not notice, but you know who you, who you worshiping right now? Backwards. The God of revelry and drunkenness. Give me second Maccabees. Four. That's what you're worshiping right now. All this out here is not what God said for all people. So when we come out here, it sounds odd to the people. It sounds odd to them. Why? Because they've never learned God's laws before. Give me that second Maccabees poison and the glasses on. When it says, I can read. Second Maccabees chapter 6, verse 7. And in the day of the king's birth, every month, they were brought by bitter constraint to eat the sacrifice. At one time, by bitter constraint, I mean we were forced to eat the sacrifice, we don't. And when the feast of Bacchus And when the feast of Bacchus was kept. So when the feast of Bacchus was kept, go home and look up Bacchus. Bacchus was the god of revelry and drunkenness. So that's what those people out here do right now. And what we're trying to tell you is that you are the Israelites. You are God's children. You're the greatest thing that God ever created. One second. Let me finish this question, brother, right? So now back to the point I was saying to you. He was asking, why do we advance? Because that's the law in the Bible. And we don't envy our oppressor. We don't choose none of his ways. And one of his ways we're trying to tell you is what all people out here doing right now. God did not set this up for you. Like I said before, you are the greatest creation on the earth. But you got to come back. You got to come out of murder, thievery, homosexuality. All these things got to end. And you got to come back to your truth. That's right. That's right. What's your question? One second. What's your question? 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 What's you are not there, brother. You're not there. Let's read what the Lord's well, trying to say. Listen. We, Matthew, I, first up. Say it again. Well, you know what? Well, you well, asked well, well, the smartest well, question well, I heard out there today. Well, you asked the smartest well, question well, I hear. Well, God well, going to tell who you are. Tell me. God, tell him who you are. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who you are, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You are a Judah. You're from the head tribe where Christ came. The that's blood that runs through your veins will Jesus. take you back to the Messiah. That's right. You are the that's greatest right. thing God created, and that's what we're telling you. Now, how do I, now wait a second. How do I know that? I could have just pulled the scripture and make it sound like that. One second. Listen up. I could have just pulled the scripture and make it sound like that. I'm saying that you're an Israelite. 
Now the point is to prove it in God's word. Go to Deuteronomy 28. We're going to see if any of you can tell me. I'm not going to define it. You tell me what it means. 28:68. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 68. Listen up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. It says the Lord was going to bring you into Egypt again with ships. That didn't mean Pharaoh, one, right? one, one second. One second. <laughs> no, no, what you said ain't wrong. The stars are touching. The Lord shall bring you into Egypt again, but this time you're going to go by ships. Now I got a question to you. How did the so called niggas get to the America? Yeah. Ships. Next step. Say uh -oh. it again. Memphis is the capital of Egypt. Memphis is the capital of Egypt. Hold on, give me Acts 13. Show me somewhere where it's in the battle with niggas. Show me that. Brother, listen, we don't want no more. We're going to read it for you right now. Listen up. I'm going to read it for you. You said one second. You said we're going to read it in the Bible, right? Acts 13 and 1. Listen up. Acts 13 and 1. Acts chapter 13 and 1. Acts 13 and 1. Acts 13 and 1. Acts chapter 13 and 1. Acts chapter 13 and 1. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called Niger. Spell it. N I G E R. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Okay, so now you know why I said it, right? Okay, the word Niger or Niger or Negro just means black. That's all it means. Let's go back. Hold on, what's Let's go back. Let's go back. Ethiopia. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, hold on. Let me fix my first question. Oh, you are. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Listen up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. You said you're going to be brought back into Egypt. Don't speak. You're going to be brought back into Egypt again. Okay, what is Egypt talking about? Because do we go back to the land of the of Egypt? No. Egypt was synonymous with something else. We're going to prove it in the Bible. Read it. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of God. Hey, Egypt was called what? No, 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 no. You didn't come up, brother. You asked me. Let me finish your first question. What was Egypt called? Egypt was called the house of God. And there ye shall be sold. What? There ye shall be sold. Where you brought us to? You're gonna be sold unto your enemies. Where would you sell them? On uh, Bill Street. Right now, we are here drinking on Bill Street, celebrating. Does that make any sense? Come on, wake up. Wake up, black man. You are, listen, you are so right here, and you partying on here. The white man is smarter than that. He's smarter than that. We. And there ye shall be sold. But you said you do what? You was making music right here, right? Hold that. Give me, give me Psalms 133 or 137. 137. Watch this. You said what you said is scriptural. But guess what? We're going to read what God said about it. You was making what here? You don't understand. We are the prophets of God sent to wake you up. You notice that we in the Bible. We ain't singing. We read the Bible. Read Psalms 137. Read. Listen. Psalms 137. You know what? Do you know why you were singing for? God is going to tell you why you were singing. Read. Verse 3. Yes. Verse 3. For there, they that carried us away captive, they that carried us away captive, required of us a song. They did. That's why you sing on Bill Street. Because your slave master, required, listen up, he required of you a song. So what you became, you became entertainers and performers. You became what they call today a coon. You you performed for them. You was fiddle on the roof. You were dick for them. Read it again. For there, they that carried us away what's, what's captive, that, what's that? required of us Hey, the song. They request the song. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28, 68. So what are we teaching? That you're the Israelites and you have to repent. You have to come back to God's commandments. That's right. Let's read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again and with ships. And the Lord ships. shall bring you into captivity again, but this time by ships. Read on. By the way whereof I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And what we were going to see was on land. Because, and this happened not because of anything that you did. It's because we transgressed God's laws. And God used you to punish us. Now what we have to do is repent. It doesn't, one second, one second, you're being rude. It doesn't mean the black man gets done to kill white people. It's about us repenting and coming back to the Lord and stop doing this out of here. 
That's how we fix our problems. So when I'm speaking, I'm speaking to my people because they're the ones that are sick right now. You see the state of the black man today? He don't know. He's out of his mind. Why? Because of captivity. We've That's been right. disconnected from our heritage. That's right. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28, verse 47. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Because thou servest not the stop, Lord. Stop, stop, stop. I, 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 I saw you walking away, but you know what I want to answer you? I, I, on behalf of them. What, 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 what I'm trying to say to you is that when we dialogue, we speak, we got to do things in decency, you know. You asked me a question, and I was answering your question, and you walked away. Now you got another question. We'll keep on going circle. My mom asked you a question from what I read. What's the nationality? You don't know that, right? Because you listen to the answer. I just told you. We just read the Bible. Let's go back again. All right. We got time. Listen, brother, I love you. I got time for you. We're going to do it over and over again. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Don't speak. Listen. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So what is Egypt? Bondage again. With ships. We came over here on Bible slave ships. But people don't realize the Bible is a history book. It's a record of you. Of you, and what of you, you a history book, right? Hey, hey, listen, read on. Okay. What's, what's By the way, way. Well, stop. stop. This is what I mean. There must be done in Jesus' in order. This is my people, and I'm talking to them. Let me get my message out to them. Yeah. You all got Glenn Beck and them to talk to. Yeah. Let me talk to this yeah. man. Read on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring okay. thee into okay. Egypt again with ships. With ships, read on. By the way, wherever I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it. No more again. You know what you're going to see anymore again? Was your homeland. Now you've been taught your homeland is what? Africa, right? Your motherland. Israel, right? Israel. Say it again. Israel. Thank you. That's Give right. me God. Uh, listen, right, black man. You waking person. up. God is calling you. Galatians 4, 26. Listen up, black man. Listen up. Today you're going to be taught who you are. Galatians 4, 26. Galatians, the fourth chapter and the 26th verse. But Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Which is the mother of us all. Which is the mother of us all, Jerusalem. So when you, when black people have the title of African American, it makes no, one second, it makes no sense. Africa, that's it, it makes no sense. Africa was named after a white man named Leo Sipikas Africanus. Wait a second, America was named after Amerigo Vespucci. So how can you be African American? Psalms 49 and 11, watch this real quick. Wait, let's say you're being wrong, let's read. Psalms 49, I'm going to show you, God's word will define everything. Read, you're not American, you cannot be American. I'm American, you cannot be American. What, get the mute. I hear your problem with African American, but I was born in America though. Where you were born in? Was you born in Africa? Let's go back, Psalm 49. It ain't right. your seed. You take a you take, you take you take apple America. seed and plant an apple seed in China. You will get an apple. Africa. You take an apple seed and plant America. You will get an apple. So the land mass you want is going to define your nationality. That's read right. Psalm 49, 11. Read Psalm 49, 11. Read. 11. read. The inward thought is that their houses. Shall continue forever. The inward thought is of so called Caucasian that this kingdom is going to last forever. It will not last forever. Egypt fell, Babylon fell, Rome fell, Greece fell, America will fall. And the fall of America is the rising up of you. Read! The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Read! And their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Did you hear that? They what? They call their lands. After their own name. They called their lands. This is before you ask the question, I gotta speak. They called their lands after their own names. So that's where you get the name America from, because it's named after America Vespucci. You get Africa, named after the Supreme Africanus. You get Columbus, Ohio, named after Columbus. This is all recorded in God's word. You don't hear this in church because to listen, you don't hear this in church because church is said to keep you all asleep. How you think you became Baptist? Because your slave owner was a Baptist, and that's when you get the Black Baptist Church and the White Baptist Church and a white Jesus in both of them. It's time for you to wake up out of sleep. What's your question, brother? What's up with Ham? What about him? What do you want to know about him? What's up with him? I don't know what you mean. What's up with him? Okay, okay. Huh? What's up with Ham? Isaiah 513. Jacob, Ham, Ham. What, what, what's your name? Isaiah chapter 5, verse 13. Read. 
Therefore, my people are going into captivity. They said, therefore, my people, who the Israelites, are going to captivity. Because they have no knowledge. Because we have no knowledge. We don't even understand who we are. So our job now is to show people. Yeah. The question about I'm saying, uh, who is the first people on earth? As a nation of people, it doesn't matter. The question is, who's the, who's the only nation that God loves? God loves everybody. That's what you said, right? Uh, I said who the first. No, 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 no. You said God loves everybody, right? Yeah, yeah. Watch this. Give me, um, give me Joe. Give me. So uh, he don't love. He don't love everybody. Can I read out the Bible? Oh, the Bible. Too. I like okay. to hear that. Listen, Joel two twenty seven. Joel two twenty seven. God don't love everybody. Listen. Why? Why? Oh no, listen, listen. Is he the God of everybody? Is God the God of everybody? He made everybody. Yes, or no. Is he the God of everybody? Did he make everybody? Yes, he did. So why he don't love anybody? Let's read out the Bible. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Now, I'm going to let you prophesy now. You tell me what this means. I'm not going to say. You tell me. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. Well, tell me what that means. Listen, what? Joel 2.27. What are they Christians? No, no Christians, no religion, no religion over here. It says Israel is greater than Christ on the jacket. I know. Christ was a Christian. He was a Hebrew. He was a Christian. He was a Christian. This will be God out here. Okay, that's it. Romans chapter 9, verse 15. As we preach, so, Jacob is this all about African-Americans? But Esau is all about Haiti. That's what you're speaking to. It's right there. It's what you're speaking to. What should I what do? What does that mean? You're an What does that mean? What should I do? I don't know, American. I was born in America. God for peace. You're an Edomite. Yeah. Because you like food. You like food. So, hey, is this an alive book? Yeah, it's an alive book. They say that in the Bible. Yeah. What does it say about an Edomite? You don't mind? Tell me. I, I am a strong Christian. I am. You, you might want to answer him then. No, he won't answer anything. He'll say, no, 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 no. Listen to me. He won't answer me. You won't you basically, me. He won't talk to me. He won't talk to me. He won't even take my picture. No one will talk to me except this guy, and he won't. Okay. He'll just say, shut up. You can be just black. King James was black. Shakespeare was a white homosexual. Listen, you better go back and study, young man. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you better go back. Listen, Romans 9, let's read. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You know who Jacob is? That's you. You're Jacob. Where's your father from? America. Uh, okay, but uh, I know, but your, your people's from right here, right? Uh, your, 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 your people's from right here, right? You are the 12. We, are we got our shoes. So then, what is that? So you're saying I'm screwed? Basically. Basically. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth